Hello everyone, my name is Lucy. Wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Lucy would like to welcome you for visiting my channel and here is the official news. Let's see. One, RFK Jr. and star journalist Olivia Nuzzi had incredible FaceTime sex, said they loved each other Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And journalist Olivia Nuzzi reportedly had a secretive and intense relationship, which included incredible FaceTime sex. Initially put off by Kennedy's awkward advances. Nutsi became enamored with him after they began texting, leading her to maintain a double life for nearly a year while still engaged to her long-term partner. Despite Kennedy's public denial of their affair and threats of legal action, sources indicate that Nutsi remains in love with him. 2. Angelina Jolie ends two-year legal battle against FBI over claims ex-husband Brad Pitt abused her in private jet Angelina Jolie has officially dropped her lawsuit against the FBI regarding its investigation into an alleged abuse incident involving her ex-husband Brad Pitt. She filed a motion to dismiss the case with prejudice on September 25, meaning it cannot be refiled. Both Jolie and the FBI will be responsible for their own legal fees. The lawsuit was related to the FBI's investigation of a 2016 altercation on a private plane. 3. Kim Richards in a really bad place after substance abuse relapse, psychiatric hold, Kim Richards. The former star of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is reportedly struggling after a recent relapse and being placed on a psychiatric hold. Sources indicate that she is in a really bad place and her family is currently determining the next steps for her care. This situation is not new for Richards, as her family has faced similar challenges in the past. Four. Hoda Kotb was thinking about leaving today for a really long time, but colleagues were still shocked Hoda Kotb's decision to leave today was a long-considered choice rather than a sudden move. Insiders revealed that she had been contemplating her departure for quite some time, although few were aware of her thoughts. Kotb first informed her co-anchor Savannah Guthrie about her decision to step down. 5. Ariana Maddox explains why she has a newfound appreciation for Andy Cohen after moderating her own intense reunion Ariana Maddox shared with Page Six that she drew inspiration from Andy Cohen while moderating the intense reunion for Love Island USA Season 6. During an event in Los Angeles, she expressed her appreciation for Cohen who has moderated numerous reality show reunions, including 11 for Vanderpump Rules. 6. Kate Beckinsale accuses trauma healer of sexual assault after she skips out on $3,000 bill Kate Beckinsale is in a legal dispute with trauma healer Nick Abramovic, who claims she owes him nearly $3,000 for services rendered. Beckinsale refuses to pay, alleging that Abramovic sexually assaulted her during their sessions. Abramovic, who runs the Bionic Method, has denied the allegations. The sessions involved intense emotional massages similar to Reiki therapy, which Beckinsale's assistant arranged in advance. 7. Gigi Hadid walks Batman runway wrapped in DHL packing tape Gigi Hadid showcased a striking mini dress made entirely of red and yellow DHL packing tape during the Batman Spring Summer 2025 show. At Paris Fashion Week, she complimented the dress with logo-covered pointed toe heels and styled her short blonde hair in soft waves, 
opting for a natural makeup look and no accessories to let the dress stand out. 8. Kathy Lee Gifford reacts to Dear Friend, Hoda Kotb exiting today. Show Kathy Lee Gifford expressed her support for Hoda Kotb following the news of her departure from the Today show. In a heartfelt message on X, Gifford described the news as bittersweet and praised Codby's warmth and spirit, which have positively impacted many. She wished her friend well for future adventures. 9. Fashionable philanthropist and DJ daughter of Nigerian billionaire, Cuppy takes NYC Cuppy, a London-based music producer and daughter of Nigerian billionaire Femi Otadola. Attended New York Fashion Week, where she was spotted at a Tory Burch show. In addition to her fashionable presence, she launched the Cuppy Africa Steinhardt Scholars Fund at NYU, her alma mater, and hosted a youth event at the UN General Assembly, highlighting her philanthropic efforts. 10. Albi Shore, sends cease and desist to Amazon. Author of fake Kim Porter book that claims he had sex with Diddy Al B. Shore, the ex-partner of the late Kim Porter, has issued a cease and desist letter to Amazon and the publisher of a controversial book titled, Kim's Lost Words, which claims to be Porter's memoir. The book, self-published under the pseudonym, Jamal T. Millwood, alleges that Shore had sexual relations with Porter and her other ex, Sean, Diddy, Combs. The author, Todd Christopher Gazay, also known as Chris Todd, is an investigative producer with a history of covering high-profile cases. Sure, is seeking to prevent the book's sale.